Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort, and today, this video, I'm not really looking forward to doing this video, to be honest, guys, because, as you can tell by the title, we're going to try and find Nico Bellix's ghost in GTA 5. This video was kind of a time coming, like, loads of you guys were asking me to do this episode. When I say loads of you guys, I literally mean loads of you guys. Every single day, I see at least 10, 20, 30, even 50 comments from you guys saying, hey, can you please go and find Nico Bellix's ghost? Can you please go over to the Yellow Jack Inn and find Nico's ghost? So I decided, you know what, let's just do this and let's see if we can find anything. And the reason why we're doing this episode is because someone called Marco Pagan, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard his name, he's literally called Marco. I've mentioned his name in so many videos, he finds so many easter eggs in this game. He did actually go to explore the Yellow Jack Inn many times and managed to record what he found. And he found something which just looks really spooky, like something which even I can't explain. And even if this guy was using mods, I don't understand how he could have used mods because the stuff which was happening around him, I don't even know how anyone could kind of do with mods. Like, it, it's just, it's it's really interesting. So, I'm, I'm starting to believe what is going on inside the Yellow Jack Inn and I'm starting to believe that there's something inside there. Will it be Nico Bellix's ghost? Well, guys, I guess we're going to find out because today we're going to try and find exactly where Nico Bellix's ghost is in GTA. A5. So I'm going to play this clip right now, which shows uh, Marco Pagan going around the Yellow Jack Inn, and he notices some really weird things happen around him. So I'll play it now, guys, and I will see you in just a few more seconds. Wait, what, what is this guy doing? <laughs> I just walked outside to continue this video and is this my gardener? Why is he on his phone? I've never seen my gardener do this before. It's like in the middle of the night. He's got gloves on, so I'm guessing he is and he looks pretty muddy. Are you okay, dude? Let's bump into him. What, what is this guy doing? <laughs> okay, can we scare this guy? We can't scare him. We can't scare him at all. I have no idea what this guy is doing. Okay. This is totally work-related. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go and try and find Nico's ghost. What is this guy doing? <laughs> what? Okay, I have no idea what my gardener's doing. I've never seen my gardener do anything else like that. I'm going to leave my house because my house is starting to- What's Jimmy doing? You serious? What is my family doing? <laughs> I'm actually so confused. Why is Jimmy just standing in the middle of the road? Like, he's holding up traffic as well. And the gardener, the gardener's still there on his phone. And Jimmy's just outside. Is, is any, anyone else, any of my family members doing anything? Anyone? <laughs> what is going on? Okay, I'm going to get into my car. I, I'm just, I'm going, okay, Jimmy? You can stay here. I literally have no idea what is going on. Oh my days. Okay, yeah, I'll just- I'm gonna leave Jimmy. Why is this guy running? Okay, let's just go over to the Yellow Jack Inn and see what we can find. I'm not looking forward to doing this episode though, guys. What time is it? It's currently 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay, right. Okay, if we get over there for 3 in the morning and we're just going to explore around the Yellow Jack Inn and see if we can find anything, let me quickly just set a waypoint. I believe the Yellow Jack Inn is over there. It's literally right on the dartboard. And if you guys haven't seen any of my Nico Bellic videos, I will link some at the end of this one so you guys can check them out. I think there was something going on back there, but eh, we're too busy. But if you guys want to go and check them out, I'll link them at the end of this video because there's a huge Easter egg in GTA 5, one of the biggest ones in this game, where Nico Bellic was actually in San Andreas and he has been taken out in the Yellow Jack Inn. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to keep going guys and if we do find something that's going to be amazing but I guarantee I'm going to hide under my desk if we do because I really don't like doing videos like these. In fact, I might wear headphones. I might do that 
I'm not too sure. No, I'm not going to wear headphones. I think I think that will overcomplicate things. I don't want to do that just in case. Oh, shall we do it? I'm not sure. I think we will. I think we will, guys. I think I'll wear headphones. For your amusement, I will wear headphones in this video. And if we do find something, I am going to hide under this desk. And it's going to be crazy. Like, imagine if the lights just went off or people started getting taken out around me. I wouldn't like that. And in Marco's video as well, he mentioned that a bottle just smashed in front of him on the bar. And the bar lady also disappeared as well. Janet literally disappeared. There it is, boys. There it is, the Yellow Jack Inn. So if I just quickly go over here, I'm going to park my car. Yeah, we'll do that, guys. I'm going to park it neatly. <laughs> Let's just park the car right here, right about here. And we're going to explore this place in the middle of the night. And I'm going to wear headphones as well, guys. We're going to wear headphones. I'll be, I'll be one second. I'm going to plug my headphones in. And I'm not looking forward to this, but it's going to be amazing. I just know it is, guys. I've got my headphones. Yep, I've got them right here, guys. Okay. <laughs> I am not looking forward to this at all. Let me just double check. Everything is all good. Okay, it's fair to say I could hear something creaking around me. I think it's Michael's footsteps. Oh my gosh, the volume is so loud. Can I turn this down? Something Marco noticed, though, is that this light right here... It flickers and it gives off some sort of frequency sounds. I mean, I, I don't like this sound at all. <laughs> but it does flicker. It's kind of scary. Like, it's the first thing you see and it's just flickering. It's not even working. So let's go inside. I can hear so many frequency sounds. It's like... Oh, that's so, that's so weird. <laughs> okay, so you can see Nico Bellix's jacket right there. And is Janet there? Janet's there. Everyone's there. Everyone's just looking at me. That's the door. Okay, I could hear it ticking, but that's the door. Everyone's just looking. Are you okay, dude? Yeah, I think he's good. I'm going to put this away. But as you guys can see, there's these stains on the floor. And this is where Nico was taken out. He tried to run for the back door, couldn't get there. And as you guys can see, he runs over here and gets taken out. So... Is that coming from this? If if you put your ear to this door, you can hear like another room inside there where people are talking, but we've used mods and we've gone through that. Let me show you guys, if we go through this door quickly. See, as you guys can see, there's nothing inside this room, but you can literally hear people inside there. Through that door. Okay, that's kind of creepy. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that as well. I I'm going to try and turn the game volume up really loud. But you can hear people through that door. That's kind of weird. It's like there's random conversations going, but there's no one around me, and these guys are on the bar. I mean, unless three people can make that much chatter, I really doubt they can. There's so many weird sounds. You can literally hear groups of people talking, but I can't see groups of people. You can hear whole conversations as if there's people just sitting around me when there's no one here. Now, in the video Marco did, all of the lights went off. So far, that hasn't happened to me, and so far, people haven't been taken out. I really hope that doesn't happen to me, because if it does... <laughs> I just hope it doesn't, because that would really scare me. But I'm really freaked out right now. I can hear sounds which aren't actually here. Like, I can hear people talking, but there's no one around here. Like, I give a damn? I'm not gonna do anything to you guys, okay? I wanna see if I can still hear the chatter. Yeah, I can still hear the chatter. There's some sort of chatter going on inside here. I'm glad I got the headphones, because I wouldn't be able to hear that without the headphones. Okay, it looks like those two just left. And now it's just us in here alone. There's no one in here at all. It's kind of creepy now. I can just hear the bugs. I can hear grasshoppers outside. I can hear the wind. And I just realized it's coming up to 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, no. Okay, it's three in the morning. Everything's so quiet. I'm actually really... Kind of like... I'm kind of spooked out right now. 
Let's go back outside and inside. I'm literally spending a night in the Yellow Jack Inn by myself looking for Nico Bellix's ghost. And I could hear people talking when there was no one around me. I honestly believe this place might be haunted considering I did hear that chatter. Like, it wasn't coming from the people in the bar. It was coming from behind that door and there's nothing behind that door. What if we anger the ghost? Let's see. Let's we try and make it angry. Come on. Will this anger the ghost? So far, I can't see the ghost at all. The lights haven't gone off. People haven't gone out around me. I mean, I guess, like, no one is around me to be taken out. I might come back here because it's 5 in the morning. Let's come back here quickly, guys. If I come back here, change the time, I think we might be able to do this again quickly. I got one of those maps, the stars. Jack Howitzer is shooting some reality show by my hotel. I'm gonna listen to these conversations for a minute. I'll try to get you some autographs. See ya. I like turtles. Oh, I know. What? Okay, I'm gonna go. Oh, good man. My site traffic is up. Oh, oh. Unique users. Okay, there's loads of people here. We got loads of people. Cool. <laughs> I love how all of my markings are still here, though. Okay, there's still loads of people inside here. This guy is just looking at me. But once again, I can hear the sounds. I can hear the chatter. It's so weird. Wait, what's going on outside? I think there's like a chase or something outside. Okay, let's see what happens if we just get this guy to leave. Okay, there we go. One person's gone. Let's get this person to leave. And this person. Okay, they're all going now. Now, if we quickly take a look. Yeah, there's still three people at the bar. Wait, what? Where's Janet gone? Do we have a what? That's weird. I can still hear the chatter, even though there's only one person there and there's one person there. And I don't know what happened to Janet. She literally just disappeared. The person who runs the bar just disappeared on me. Okay, that's kind of weird. And I can still hear the chatter as if there's still something going on in this bar. Like there's just ghosts around me just talking. That's kind of weird. Oh my days. Okay. <laughs> I don't like this bar. I've been here for a good like 20 minutes real time and so far guys I'm pretty spooked out with this bar and using headphones just it makes things so much worse So I've done quite a bit of stuff inside this bar I've stayed here for quite a long time like literally almost two nights and uh, So far we've discovered that there are ghost voices inside this bar and uh, according to Marco Pagan Nico Bellic does actually have a ghost inside this bar But either way, I'm fairly convinced that something mysterious something spooky is going on with this bar And I wouldn't be surprised if it was Nico Bellix's ghost in GTA 5 So if you guys are wondering where you can find Nico Bellix's ghost It's going to be in the Yellow Jack Inn if it does exist So if you guys want to go and find Nico Bellix's ghost go over to the Yellow Jack Inn around midnight or something or just sometime when the Sun goes down and you might actually encounter Nico Bellix's ghost. So I'm going to end this episode here guys because I don't want the lights to go off. So if you guys want to do this for yourself, you guys know what to do. Of course, if you did enjoy today's episode, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. That would of course be absolutely amazing. And I recommend you guys also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on awesome stuff like this on a daily basis. And if you guys do find his ghost or if you guys would like to see me do anything else on my channel, let me know in the comments section below. I read every single comment. So if you guys do write something the likelihood is is i will read it so once again guys thank you so much for watching my name is naught and stay absolutely awesome i'll see you guys in the next video